What are you doing here? Just trying to make sure that you and your mom are okay. We're fine, but we don't need anyone sneaking up on us in the middle of the night. Don't move. driving through Mars. Not sure how I got here. Oh, let me guess. You took the scenic route? Which means you're driving through Marinci. I don't remember it being this big. Yeah, they have to keep digging wider in order to go deeper. Well, it certainly is big. It's all I can see for miles. Take a good look at it, honey. It's one of the largest open pit mines in the world. And it'll take over half an hour just to drive through it. That's how Patagonia will look. This is some undertaking. Well, it's a travesty is what it is. I gotta go. I'll see you at the party. Uh, honey. If you have time, maybe we could go on a little camping trip in the mountains. Sure, I guess. Bye. Hello? Birdie, it's Dad. Oh, hi, Poppy. Where are you? Driving through Morenci. Is Patagonia gonna look like this? What makes you think that? Mom says Morenci used to be a town like Patagonia. Ever since our divorce, your mother has become an environmentalist. I guess. I'll be in Patagonia today, supervising the construction of the processing plant. Uh, I was hoping to meet you for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, okay. All right then, drive safely. Bye, Bobby. I love you. We thought it would be all sand and cactus. What's the significance of 1872? It's the arcane mining law that gives away public land for free to any company that wants to put in a mine. That's awful. Happy birthday, Mom. Oh, hi, honey. How was the drive? Here, let me introduce you to a couple of my friends. This is Mary. Uh, she's married to Kevin. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is Sally. She's with the group 1872. Did your mom tell you she sold another painting? Oh. Birdie plays flute with the Albuquerque Symphony. Oh, great. Wow. Yeah, I'm very proud of her. Undoubtedly. So, how long have you been with the symphony? Oh, uh, for about three years. Great. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to get a drink. 
Oh, okay, honey, let me, um, let me help oh, you. It's, doing uh, it's okay, Mom. I got it. Oh, Happy you. birthday. Hi. I'm Craig. Hi. I'm Brittany. I haven't seen you around here before. What's your link to this gathering? My link? Uh, I'm the birthday girl's daughter. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, excuse me, I'll be right back. Do you live here? Yeah, I just moved here. I'm hoping to meet some local folks. And... Honey, can I get your help for a minute? Sure, um, I'll be right back. When you give a party in a small town, you can't always know who will show up. Don't talk to that man. What do you mean, don't talk to that man? He's one of them. Mom, you're being rude. He works for the mining company. They're going to desecrate this beautiful place you saw, Marenzi. Dad works there, and it's gonna bring good jobs through, won't it? Yeah, and it'll take away the better jobs we already have. And instead of the vineyards where you got that wine, we'll have a, an open, gaping wound right here in God's country. We're talking, Mom. Your mother seems very upset. I hope she hasn't poisoned you against me, has she? No. And I don't have an opinion about the matter, one way or the other. That's good. That's real good. You know, one should always have an open mind. You look a lot more like a red wine kind of girl. Not so much white. And why is that? You know, red wine just has more flavor, more texture. There's just so much more to it. Uh, I think this wine's going to my head. It was nice meeting you, Craig. Hey, nice meeting you too. Real nice. The problem with the government is, is now, it's now completely controlled by the huge corporations. And, and we the people, we don't count anymore. Hey, Nikki, I was just thinking about you. I can't believe it. Well, you know this town. All you have to do is think about someone and they're bound to show up. Birdie. Hey, Birdie. Oh, hey, Paula. <laughs> How are you? Ah, doing pretty good. How are you? Hey, Adrian. Can I get you anything else? More coffee? I'm full. Gracias, my Muy bueno. Yeah, yeah, so uh, quite a party, apparently, huh? Yeah, a lot of people all had a great time. I didn't mean... No, no, it's no big, it's not for me to say. How have you been? Good. Your boyfriend? You know, if you move to Tucson... Stop already. Next thing I know, you're gonna have me in petticoats and bonnets, fetching water and milking cows. You know, life's not all about work, honey. You have to start thinking about a family soon. I have a family. But it's split, but it's there. I thought you might need a little something sweet. A blueberry muffin? You remember this is my favorite? How could I forget? You're only the town's most famous flute player. <laughs> well, we're very proud of you, honey. You've done well for yourself. You know, it's been a long time since your last visit. I do wish you lived closer. It's not that easy. I know, honey, but you're so talented. That was a fun party last night. I'm so glad you could come, Bertie. Yeah, me too. Well, Ben. How are you, Sally? I'd feel a whole lot better if we didn't turn this place into Morenci. I know that you don't want the cataract mine to open, but you're going to be surprised to see how much work is going into minimizing environmental degradation. <laughs> how do 
do you replace a mountain? These are tough economic times, Sally, and the mine will bring high-paying jobs. And, and wipe out many more existing jobs. Tourism jobs, recreation jobs. Those jobs will still be here. It's not no, as if... No, actually, they won't. Anyway, it's great to see you again, Bertie. I'm with you, Ben. These newcomers want to change everything. There hasn't been a mining town in over 40 years. My family's been here for generations, and it seems like there's a lot of cancer going around. Maybe it's all the pollution from the old mines. What are we going to do about water after these guys are done? Look, I know everyone has an opinion, but I haven't seen my daughter in over a year, OK? I know a lot of people want this mine gone. The mining has been good to us, good to generations of our family. How do you think I was able to put you through music school? How's your dad? He's fine. Quite excited about this mine opening. What a surprise. Mom, he says it won't be as bad as you think. Mm. Of course he does. The real dangers won't happen in his lifetime. It's Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one came out really nice, didn't it? Mm. Besides, they know a lot more now with new technology and research. And People won't be swimming in tailing ponds like Abuelo did. Hmm. Well, there's something I want you to watch. What? Now? Is there somewhere else you need to be? This is a film that was made by the group that's fighting the mines, 1872. Hmm. Humor your mother, dear. I'll go get the horses. They are going to use 700,000 gallons of water per day. So first of all, every well along the Hawshaw Creek Road will go dry. The trees in Nature Conservancy are going to die. The birds are going to leave. Considering the terrible impact on the water, I don't think there should be mines in desert places. Only 12 miles from the Mexican border, Patagonia, Arizona. Mm -hmm. excited about it. I even attended a tracking workshop. A tracking workshop? What for? Is this group trying to stop a mine? Isn't it a done deal already? I, I just want to take this trip with you so we can remember the mountains as beautiful as they are now. Sure. It will be good to get away from everything for a couple of days. Do you have a solar cell phone charger? Oh, good grief. Will you put that stupid thing away? What if we have an emergency? Why don't you just keep it turned off and save the battery then? What if someone tries to contact us? Oh, right. Like, we're going to come galloping down the mountain to their rescue? Would you just put it away, dear? I mean, I just want to spend some quality time with you. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> okay, come on, let's... Let's go back up the horses and get going. Um, anything you need from the car? Nope. Everything I need is in my room. What's in the bag? Water filter. They don't want to be out there without it.
don't. What are you doing? I told you where the horses to get hurt. Easy, easy. Does that even have bullets? I don't know. You carry a gun and you don't know if it's loaded? Do you know that it has a safety? Is it on? Of course it's off. What do you take me for? Why did you bring that? Just in case. In case of what? Emergencies. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense to me, like, just now. Do you think that you having a gun is supposed to make me feel safe? Don't be sarcastic, darling. It isn't very flattering. I saw you fumble that gun. What? Nothing. You probably end up shooting me in the leg or the horse in the butt. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Lost our water. Oh, it's okay. There are a lot of underground springs around here. We'll find one. How sure are you? Quite sure. Have you found one before? Yeah. Do you know where it is? Well, of course not. They come up in different places at different times. I just don't want to die up here. Do you want to go back? How about we give it two hours, and if we don't find one of your magic springs, then we head back. Fair enough. That's not one to trust. No kidding. Looks like brine. These old mines are still polluting. There are a lot of old mines around here. Maybe it's cleaner further up. Are you sure? Ugh, it's hot. Well, it's just a little bit further. Come on, let's give it a try. Mm. Get some? go all over the mountains. Up, down, through valleys and fields, past branches, cattle. These roads go everywhere. There's always been water at the old Sturgis Ranch. I recognize where we are. Oh, at last. Okay, this one's a winner. Yep, you were getting pretty worried, weren't you? A little. It's kind of a miracle any of these springs still exist. What do you mean? Well, nobody really knows how much water is up here, but the mines sure seem to get however much they want. It's beautiful up here. Mm. Can we drop the mines for a little? At least while we're here. Make sure the horses stay away from that. Maybe we should go back. I think we've gone as far as we can without enough water. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. I'm the fool who lost water. 
let's let's go up there where there's a view and some shade and we'll give the horses a rest. Yeah. I could use a break from the sun too. Yeah. Hey, you ladies ain't lost, are you? No, we had a minor water incident. Well, what happened? A uh, snake spooked my horse. Ended up spilling the water. We've been looking for a stream around here, but all we can find is flowing mine scum. Hmm, you want to stay away from that crap. I look for living water fuel, pardon the paraphrase. Huh? Bugs are good. Oh. I like to see lots of bugs. Oh, OK. I figure if a bug can't live in it, neither can I. <laughs> Just push the bugs out of the way and watch out for those little red worms. Red worms, what are they? They're about an inch long, the size of a human hair, and they wiggle like crazy. I got no idea what they are, but I distrust any worm that I can see but can't chew. <laughs> Might be some kind of parasite. I got a bottle of water for you gals here. Oh, thank you. So what are you ladies just out for a ride? Yeah, I have uh, birdies back in town for a couple days. Where are you living these days, Bertie? Um, Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Yeah. I had a first date there once. <laughs> what do you do there? You got a job? Um, oh, she plays flute for the Albuquerque Symphony. I actually pay you for that? Yeah. Well, you must be just like a cowboy then. You got somebody tricked into paying you for what you probably do for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. You keep that up and you'll never work a day in your life. Give me <laughs> five, darling. All right, Rick. <laughs> I just passed a good spring about 400 yards up this canyon here. Oh, yeah? It's right on this trail. You can follow my tracks right to it. OK, great. I've been drinking that water for years, and I ain't shriveled up yet. <laughs> Y'all don't find it yourselves now. We won't. Okay. Thank you. Glad you're still protecting your ears from the high notes. Parece no cuo. Está mucho calor. ¿Qué están haciendo ahí? Son locas. ¿Por qué locas? Oh, no sé. Mozart. Sí, Mozart. Oh. Is it Don Giovanni? Si, sí, si, sí. es la chi de la mano. Oh. Ay, que suerte. Un concierto. En una día como este. 
Fue bien. Ah. Ya puede tocar esa flauta. Sí. Flauta caro también. ¿Quieres hablar de ella? <risa> ¿Qué? Es muy bien, señorita. Gracias. No, debo decir gracias a ti. Que no te asusta, ¿verdad? No. Me gusta el Don Giovanni. <laughs> yeah, me too. Toco el violín. Muy bien. ¿Quieres un poco? Gracias. No. No problema, señorita. Gracias por el concierto. De nada. ¿Qué quieres? I would like some. ¿Qué? Look at this. Such a waste that it's illegal. And you could get caught, you know. This place is probably crawling with border patrol. Yeah. I'm going to secure it. Let's go find a place at camp. Curious. About? What will you do if all of us does become an open pit mine? to find another place like this. Is that why you keep calling it God's country? Oh, <laughs> that's just a figure of speech. But places like this are being destroyed everywhere. What about the cultural stuff, the arts? Where do you think a lot of art comes from? I do worry that support for the arts is disappearing. I think people like us are going extinct. Not yet. You and I are a lot alike. We're, we're artists. We don't have a choice. We just are. There's the cave of the Virgin of Guadalupe. It's amazing that there are so many in these remote places. Let's stop here. Before. Oh, pay our respects. Well, oh, Joanne got an audition in Detroit. I thought you were going to put the thing away. We just got reception. Maybe I'll take a picture of the shrine and send it to her for the book. Yeah. 
I'll meet you by the horses. This is for Joanne. And this is for me. How many mines there are up in these mountains? What's that sound? What sound? We better get the horses off the road. These great idiots from the mine. Slow down before you kill someone. You know there will be a lot of accidents up here. It's the wild, wild west. I just don't understand how they get away with everything. Well, we might as well stop for lunch. We should be able to leave the horses here, hike up a hill a little ways. Who the hell is that? It's border patrol. That looks like Earl. Peace and quiet in the great outdoors. Who could ask for more? What are you up to, Earl? Oh, not much. The usual. <laughs> hmm. Pretty day, isn't it? Oh, sure is. What are you two doing up here? Oh, just camping. Getting some mother-daughter time in together. What, not the mall or the spa? Yeah, right. I'm the mall type. Be careful. There's a lot of activity up here. It's getting kind of dangerous. <sighs> Tell me about it. We almost got run over by two morons back there. You know, there's a mountain lion sighting somewhere around here. Well, they're pretty elusive, uh, but we'll be careful. I know the town's divided and all about this whole mining thing, but you two aren't planning any civil disobedience now, are you? You mean like Occupy Patagonia? I'm, I'm just kidding. Look, I know you're not happy about the mines and all, Polly, but but, Bertie, I imagine you're pretty proud of your dad. You know, small town, Mexican-American makes good and all. Look, Earl, we're just up here celebrating my mom's birthday, okay? Yeah. But... I mean, I know we have a border problem, but constant harassment? Anyone dark-skinned is suspect. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't think you wanted any. I don't. I also don't want to get arrested. But don't overreact. Earl's not coming back, and besides, it would only be a slap on the wrist. I'll take the responsibility if anything happens. <laughs> responsibility? You? What does that mean? Just go with the flow. Why? Because I'm spontaneous? You don't think I have convictions? Sometimes your convictions are devoid of any heartfelt emotions. Hey, this is from left field. What is bothering you? Honey, you can talk to me. I'm your mother. It sure didn't feel like it. You know, for once, I'd like to see you do something because you actually cared. Not that it was the right thing to do. You need a practice.
Mom, Mom, come quickly. What's the matter? Are you okay? Yes, yes, just come quick. You'll never believe what I just saw. Oh, should I get my tracking guide? Yes, definitely. Oh, I hope it hasn't gone too far. What was it? I don't know. Some kind of cat. It was beautiful. Oh, a bobcat. No, not a bobcat. Come on, let's go, let's go. gonna believe this. What, what? What is it? I'm not sure, but if it's what I think it is. Well, what is it? An ocelot. Is that even possible? Well, if I'm reading it right, oh, this could have a major impact on the area. Why? It's an endangered species. There hasn't been a sighting in years. Well, that's a good thing, right? Possibly. I am going to send pictures of the tracks and GPS coordinates to Sally. Mm. How cool is this? Very. Some people may not think so. Really? Why? It could be a major hindrance to the mines. There's going to be another environmental assessment that takes time. Uh, you know, for now, let's just focus on the ocelot. Ugh, I can't get internet access. Let's just try to track it. We'll worry about the internet later. Be very careful where you step. Do you think it's significant? What, the tracks? No, that the ocelot watched me while I was playing. Well, maybe you connect to the animal world through music. You connect to the ocelot in particular because it's so rare and so beautiful. Mom, there are all these incredible stories about animals. D did you hear the one about the hospital cat somewhere in the east? It, it could predict when patients were going to die. Did you read that in some tabloid nonsense? It was written up in a medical journal. I would be suspicious. Maybe the ocelot had never heard a flute before, and it connected to you through the melody you were playing. There are amazing stories about the effects of music, especially classical. I don't know about that. But seeing such a majestic animal in these mountains just uh, gave me hope. Did you hear that? What? Rumbling. Sound like thunder. Thunder? Did they forecast rain? No idea. Well, but it definitely sounds like thunder. You with your flair for sounds and whatnot, I guess we better head back to the horses. Did you know your way back? Oh yeah, we just follow our tracks. Yeah? tracks. We sure didn't come this way. Oh my god. This is horrible. How does anything survive here? It can't. These wildfires are happening more and more all over the southwest. They know it's man-made, but you know, people have speculated that the mines are probably Mom, doing Can you give it a break? How do you get up in the morning? Oh, no difficulty. I can compartmentalize my mind. <laughs> how about you? How are you holding up? What do you mean, how am I holding up? I'm um, just wondering. You seem quite tense at times. I'm fine. Or I was, until I followed you into this wasteland. How do we get out of here? Well, uh, 
We may be just the teeniest bit lost, but I, I think we go this way. Told you I'd get us back after a slight detour. Get it on the seam. Get the. There's a grommet. Make sure it's right on the seam. Okay. Put rocks on all the ends and some in the middle. Hi, Nico. Describe the animal you saw and I'll try to draw it. Like a police artist? You kind of like that. Okay. Um, it had amber eyes with white fur under them. And uh, it looks like it was thinking. Great. Uh, how in the heck am I supposed to draw that? <laughs> Why don't you just... Uh... Why don't you start with uh, its, its size and, and then for color, Sarah? Like this? <laughs> it had a little smaller head. Is this your feeling, friend? Nothing here. Washed away, I bet. Let's go up a little further. Maybe we'll get cell phone reception or internet access. Sally would know a really good place to look. Let's pack up and get the horses. There's another truck coming. Let's get over to the side. At least this one isn't doing 100 miles an hour. It's your father. He must have guessed we'd come up to Whistler's Canyon, who is always your favorite. And it's on the way to the mine. Hi. You two having fun? Hey, Dad, you'll never believe what I saw. An ocelot. I was practicing, and it was through the bushes and stood well, straight at me for a little while. I'm not quite sure it was an ocelot. It was probably a bobcat. I thought that you said I'm that not you... really sure. What yeah. about the picture? You know, I'm not confident. Let's just drop it. You know, you two really need to be careful. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, how are things up the mine? Great. Everything's going along as planned. I'm sure. Uh, how long are you up here for? Well, you know, I'm heading back to town tonight. I need a decent meal and a good bed. How about you two? Well, nothing concrete. We're probably just going to play it by ear. All right, well, be careful. Honey, I'll see you back in town before you leave. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye, Dad. What was that about? You have got to be really careful. About what? You cannot go around telling everyone about the ocelot. It's my dad. I know. What, are you saying I shouldn't trust him? Well, no, but be careful, because you never know what people are going to say in conversation. Oh. You know, accidentally, slip-ups. Are you really that paranoid? You would be amazed what people would do for the right amount of money. I think you're losing it. Well, it never hurts to be careful. 
They're gonna have a posse hunting this cat down. It's no ordinary cat. You should have seen what happened in Tucson a few years ago. What? There was this endangered owl, tiny thing, no bigger than my fist. And they had to stop building on hundreds of acres. What? Well, come on, it's just like that. Just like that. The developers fought it tooth and nail, but in the end, an owl won. Owls? Yeah. Pygmy owl, I think it was called. Mm. Come on, let's get going. Three bars. Me too. Hello, Sally? Did you get the pictures I sent you? Do you know anywhere else we might look for tracks? Two miles that way is a stream that runs year round. Sally says they always find a lot of tracks there. Okay, great. <laughs> well, howdy there, Bertie. Now, what are you two doing in a place like this? Oh, just a little camping trip, enjoying nature. This is one of my favorite spots. I just think it's beautiful. Don't you? Yes, it is. You know, I'm so glad you're into the outdoors. Preserving these beautiful spaces is so important to me. <coughs> Where are you two heading? I don't know. We're just kind of playing up by ear. Well, I'll tell you what, when you come back into town, maybe you'd like to get a drink or we could take a hike? <laughs> yeah, maybe when I get back. Excellent. Well, you two be careful up here. You never know what you might find. Oh, these mountains are like my backyard. I'm sure we'll be fine. All right, well, I better get going back to the mine. See you, Polly. Happy trails. is right there. Okay, let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Sounds good. Just remember what I taught you. Yeah, watch where you step. Did you hear me? Oh, I think I found something. Oh, uh, okay, let's look. Mom. Yeah. Quit spacing out, let's go. Okay, okay. They don't match. It's getting dark. We better head back to the horses. Yeah. Tomorrow's another day. I guess so. Mom. It's gonna be dark really soon. Yes. One more minute. Well, hurry up. Okay, your minute's up. I'm coming. Ooh. Ooh 
what are we here? <sighs> look at this. I think we found our friend. Are you sure? Here, look at the tracks in the book and... Wow. That's a match. It's got to be, right? It is. It is. <laughs> oh, this is remarkable. Yeah. We'll come back first thing in the morning. Now what? Hope it's not that creep. Why do you dislike Craig so much? You just can't explain beauty to some people. I don't, I don't know why you say that. He likes nature. He said it was important oh. to him. <laughs> Someone like that? Birdie. Polly. Oh, hey, Ben. Yeah, I'm heading back to town. Hmm. Just wanted to check in on you guys, see if everything's okay, see if you need anything. Oh, hmm. we're fine. Well, what do you have? I've got some water. Some candy, a few energy bars. Hmm. Now we're doing good. Well, pff, I'll take the candy. We could always use more water. So, uh, did you ever see the ocelot again? Uh, I'm sure it wasn't an ocelot. How's it going at the mine? Everything's going as planned. We jumped through all the environmental BS. <laughs> so nothing to stop us now. Hmm. No offense. That's great, Dad. Really? So, uh, you haven't seen any cat up here? Are you sure? Yeah. We just saw that one bobcat, that's all. Hmm. Well, look, I'll be getting a bonus for Christmas and I'd like to buy you a new car. A new car? Dad, I love my car. It's like a work of art. Cars are like sculptures to me. I just don't trust that clunker of yours. Doesn't have any safety features, not even airbags. A clunker? Dad, I think it's beautiful and quirky. And it's way better made than these new cars. It's got real chrome, it's not all plastic. <sighs> You certainly have a touch of your mother in you. Why does she have to be part of some consumer society that thinks it has to buy a new car every year? What? I'm not trying to cause a fight here. I'm just trying to help, all right? Right. Did you see an ocelot or not the other day? You seem so certain. No, it must not have been an ocelot after all. Look, if you saw an ocelot, I need to know. This is very important to me. It was a bobcat. Well, it's getting late. It's a long drive and I need to go, so. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, okay. Birdie, good night, I love you. I love you too, Dad. Remember what I said about those wild animals. They could be dangerous, stay away from them. Night, Polly. Ben. What kind of candy did he give you? Nothing you'd be interested in. I'm sure it's full of all sorts of fat and white sugar. Give me that back. What happened to your principles? What are you doing? Just taking a picture. You ruined it. You scared it off. Why would you do that? This is very important. We have to document its existence if we're going to stop the mines. What? I thought the mines were a done deal. Isn't that what Dad's been saying? Well, I wouldn't say that. What was important to me was seeing the ocelot. And now it's gone. Nothing is lost or gone. My luck sure is.
Yeah, I should have waited to take the picture. I just, I was afraid I'd lose the opportunity. I wasn't trying to ruin anything for you. I, you know, I'm just really trying to do what's right for the community, and that includes you, honey. You're always putting your principles first. Even when it's me, your own daughter. Like when you made me choose between you or my dad when you guys were getting divorced. I was 10 years old. How do you think that made me feel? Oh, I just... I was only trying to do what was right for you. I just, I wasn't trying to hurt you. I just thought it was presumptuous of me to say what would make you happy. I'm sorry. I've been upset. It's water over the dam. It's, it's nothing, it doesn't matter. We don't have to talk about it. <clears throat> Why don't we look at the pictures? Yeah, that's a good idea. I, that, none of the other pictures are here either. What the, what the heck happened? What, you lost it? No, no, I, I don't understand. They were, they were all here earlier. What, oh, I, these damn things make me nuts. Smoking so much pot, you probably put your finger over the lens. Now this amazing moment is ruined for nothing. Thanks. Gunshots. What's going on? Hi there, Bertie. You gotta be more careful walking around here by yourself. What are you shooting at? I don't know. I think it might have been a cat. Maybe it was a mountain lion. I knew you were in the area. I didn't want you to get hurt. It can be pretty dangerous. We're okay. Mountain lions will avoid people if they can. Mm, that's not always the case. They've been known to attack. Did you hit it? I don't know. I think it ran off. Isn't it illegal to shoot one? No, I have a right to defend myself. And honestly, I was more worried about you. Uh, thanks. Well, you want me to walk back with you? Find your mom? No, I'm sure you scared it off. Uh, I'll be okay. Thanks. Well, uh, please, be careful. Okay, I will. Birdie. What's in your pack, Polly? I heard a gunshot. She passed by just a moment ago. Is she all right? She's fine. Now, why wouldn't she be? What were you shooting at? Some cat. I've seen it up here before, and I knew that you and Birdie were in the area. Stewards of the planet. I know what I'm doing. I'm sure you do. Good luck. I 
I'd like to shoot him. He didn't do anything wrong. You didn't believe him, did you? Well, I couldn't tell. The man shot at an animal for no reason whatsoever. What I'm really concerned about is the ocelot. I hope he didn't hit it. Could you mistake that for a mountain lion? Exactly. L let's search the area. If it's hurt, it's probably still around here. Mom, they told us to do this at the tracking workshop. from that creep. Mama, you can't think that he did it on purpose. It is quite plain to me. Maybe you should go back and get our things and we will set up camp a little distance away and take turns keeping watch. Do you think we should get a picture of it just in case? Let me take it. You cover me. as if someone shot me. Yeah, I know it's sad, honey. We need to focus on protecting the ocelot right now. It's an omen. That sounds ominous. I lost my job at the symphony. The whole orchestra closed. There's no money for the arts. People don't care. They should stuff and mount my body in a diorama in the Natural History Museum. Classical music playing in the background. Maybe the ocelot can be there too. <laughs> Creatures that have gone extinct in the 21st century. Honey, you are a, a very accomplished musician. 
If you keep playing, you're going to get another job. I'm not very hopeful. There are a lot of talented musicians. And nowhere to play. People don't care about a Beethoven symphony anymore. You can't give up. You can't. If you do that, nothing ever comes of it. And you know what? I would love it if you stayed with me until you get back on your feet and, and get another job. I, for one, can never get enough of Beethoven. Wouldn't I be in the way? I'm sure I can stay with my dad for a little while. You know, it broke my heart that you chose to live with your dad. I really had no idea that you felt abandoned. I just, I thought there was something wrong with me. I wish we had this conversation 15 years ago instead of now. I had hoped this trip would bring us closer. We just need to make it through the night. I'll take the first shift and uh, you get some rest. I'm not really sleepy. I'd rather stay awake. I just need to be here. Okay. Um, I'm only a little ways off. I can, uh, I can hear you if you need me. Thanks. What are you doing here? Just trying to make sure that you and your mom are okay. We're fine, but we don't need anyone sneaking up on us in the middle of the night. What are you doing with that animal? Are you crazy? I better finish it off. Don't move. Anyone hurt that beautiful animal? Who cares? Stop! Don't! There's a casket of treasure waiting to get mined out of these hills. And that stupid animal is not gonna stand in my way. Now move. Uh. Arrogant jerk! No it's gonna hurt my daughter. Mom, I can't believe you did that. Well, who does he think he is, threatening you? Is he okay? Yeah, he seems to be breathing okay. He'll wake up before long. We better figure out what to do with that ocelot, otherwise we're gonna have to finish Craig off. The ocelot's gone, Mom. Oh, but that's a good sign. Must have been the gunshot scared him off. I'll go check and see if he's nearby. <laughs> I don't think that's a picture he'll want to have circulated. Him. I hope he's okay. We better pack. I hate to be here when Craig wakes up. Is it okay to leave Craig like this? I can't imagine anything would happen to him. I will, uh, when we get some reception, we'll call your dad and have him pick the creep up. Dad would be horrified by this. Okay. 
think. Your father will be here in 20 minutes. Thanks for your help back there. Oh, of course. Uh, man, that guy's a creep. <laughs> yeah, you're right, he is a creep. <laughs> you know, I I'm sorry this got so out of hand. I feel like I put you in a real, real situation. It was dangerous, and I really just wanted it to be a nice, relaxing trip. Well, I don't know about that. I'm glad it happened this way. <laughs> I was gonna leave some of my stuff at my dad's, but I don't really know how I feel about that anymore. Well, it's fine if you wanna leave your things at, at my house, if you're okay with that. Do you think it'd be okay if I stayed with my stuff as well? Well, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I, I would love that, actually. Okay, me too. When I spoke to Sally, she said she got the pictures they sent her. She told me to check the cloud setting, which automatically deletes my photos after I upload them. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> That's good news. Yeah. I'm sorry I was so upset. I can't imagine my life without playing. You'll always have your music. Whatever happens, music, like all art, is eternal. How can that be? I believe in beauty, and I believe beauty will always find a way to survive.